Hello everybody and welcome back. For this episode we are going to talk to Aina what about the jobs our dad Cassius left for us. Uh, because he's on this business trip. Business. He's probably a lot bigger than that, but let's go and talk to Aina. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I've lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Tio? I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Purcell. She was one of our classmates at Sunday school. She's also the Purcell farm owner's daughter. Oh really? It's actually the Purcell farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something, something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out there right now. Here, take this with you. Received guild referral. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tia's father pretty well, so I don't think that this is necessary. But we'll take it just in case. Alright then. Go to the personal farm which can be found along that uh, Milch main road. So we're going that way. And uh, we'll see you out at the farm I guess. Piece of cake. Whoa! Level 5! Are we gonna get something? No, nothing. Oh well. Oh! I found a chest! Let's... let's oh, just a second. I'm gonna heal up first before I do that. Uh, here we use the tier... And we're also gonna use the Alright. Let's go. Let's see monsters appear. Oh, um, that's a bit of. That's kind of many. Well, uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh my god! These have 200 health instead of the normal 122. I don't know. Ugh. Just keep on fighting. Ow! I'm sorry. <laughs> Not oh, now. Right, they wiped the floor with me. I guess I can't take on this enemy. Just yet. Um. Here I come. Here. Oh, wait. Just shoot them. 
down. survive these two hits, I'll probably be capable of beating them. We're good to go! Thanks, Charles, by the way. Alright, it's your turn, Joshua. Fire them up. Oh, my turn again? Awesome, I might- I can do this! No... That thing won't kill me. It shouldn't be. Can't reach it. Yeah, I get another turn. Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't. That's that then. Let's move out. And it gave almost no experience. But the fork. I still lost two experience. Oh, it's because I killed that one when she was down. But it gave a lot of seconds. Five monster beast me. And a topaz talisman. Alright, well, oh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go back to town and rest before I continue. Alright, now that we have refilled, we'll continue. But now the monsters re- oh, <laughs> that, that shocked me. Alright, we completely forgot about the one line thing about the chests, so let's check it out. You open the empty chest and stare inside. <laughs> the, in the chest stares back accusingly. Mm, who took my delicious goodies? Oh, another chest. So what goodies is this? A cheer bomb. Alright. Well, it's always good to have them. They helped out when I was against that big pile of monsters. At the special chest. Alright, what one line at the you do you carry? <laughs> the chest is empty. Haha, <laughs> got you. Very. <laughs> Some of those are very funny. Cut. The reason why I'm cutting combat out is mainly because I'm just going over the same routines over and over again. I mean, like. This monster is a bit special because there aren't that many of them, but when I get uh, to one of those line monsters, there's usually three of them, and it will be the same a lot of times. 
so that's pretty much why I'm cutting it out. Oh, another chest. Another tear bomb. And the chest is empty. Shocked? I mean, of course there is. there are different like routines from every mob you meet like this one there's only two and they're very far away from me at the beginning so uh, i'd rather want to use uh, arts on these uh, because they're so far away Tick! but it's usually the same it is usually the same let's, stop it. And let's level, move out level six just grinding our way to victory now. We're good to go! And now the creatures are giving off only one experience each. Damn it, this is gonna take a long time. Ooh, another chest. And you carry another tear bomb. The one liner, the chest is empty. Surprised. Just like the other one, instead of shock, instead of shock, it is surprised. Uh, they, they're just making. Well, they have to make a lot of one-liners for a lot of chests, so you can imagine some of them would be kind of like the same. All right, well here we are. Once we enter this place, we'll be at the Purcell Farm. Yeah, Purcell Farm. Kids playing in the yard, and uh, prob that's probably Tio out in the back. Sigh. <laughs> no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly, I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. Hello. Will. It's Joshua. Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? It's no fun if we can't play. <laughs> Maybe later if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Oh, Joshua. Estelle. Hi, Cher. How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're ho not home right now. Tio's outside if you want to talk to her, though. She's out here in the back. But wh Why can't we go through the gate? We, we have to go through the stall. Well... Tio! Hi, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Still? And Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly, we're here on Bracer business. You heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters? Still and Joshua explains that they are here to do their father's work because he is away. You finished all your training? It's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Alright. Well, oh, we can talk to the cow. Yeah, hello to you too, too cow, Mr. Cow. <laughs> you could just spam it. Oh! They're in here. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purcell. How is everyone getting on these days? Well, if it, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Brace Guild. Still hands Mr. Purcell the guild referral, and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? Don't you think this job is a little dangerous ju for just the two of you to handle? I agree, I'd feel terrible if one of you were, were to get hurt. 
Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Mm. Well, Alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purcell. Then could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. Alright, so I'm gonna fight your pets? That's ran, a run away for some years ago? As far as I can tell, three or four appears at night and raid our fields. Gnawing on anything they can get their chubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll also be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word! You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Purcell. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. And then it's night time. So Joshua got to play with the kids. How lucky for them, huh? Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever to you. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel really bad for Joshua though, with the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? Don't you think? He's definitely courteous, but... And maybe even a tad reserved, but... If you get to know him, he's really a caring young, young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it. Those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair. It's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Yes. Uma has it that more than just a few girls have ask, asked to go out with him. I hear that he turned them all down, though. I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I imagine it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Why would I? <laughs> Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Uh, Alright, I'm coming. I'll be back and after Joshua and I get the job done to you. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, Alright, be careful out there, Estelle. Well, let's get to it. Let's get to work. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense. The latter is probably the right one. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up at about this time. We'd better get outside and take a look around. It's like the stare. What's going on, Mr. I've gotta ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now, where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've 
always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and what I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Still, so if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot. <laughs> um, yeah. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I just wanted to let you know I'm, that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. <laughs> yeah, now she's in a hurry. What kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, then move on to the fields, stable, and greenhouses. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. So, she would like to look he would like to, us to look around the house, which is the left bottom corner first, and then the fields, which, which is the right top corner, and just the top. Uh, then the stables, which is the right bottom corner, and then the greenhouses, which are the s two, small, uh, two small yellow squares out there at the left top. Alright, let's just get to it. Look around the house. I can go around this way. No, I can't. Uh, da, da, da. Look. Is there anything out here in the back? Nothing. Uh, here, here, here. No. It's nothing. In the fields. This is the fields. Oh! We found something. It's awfully quiet. All I hear are the box chirping. Box can chirp. Doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey Joshua, did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? Now there's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? Yeah, that is interesting. How about we get back to work? Because I learned that it was uh, uh, a stork that came with it. Uh, uh, the bird that uh, delivers them in kind of like diapers. And then they're, they're lying there in the... Uh, they're just laying there in the diaper. Which the bird is carrying around, flying around with. How about we get back to work? Okay. Alright, so we we searched the fields now. Then we're going to the stables. Just this way. Is the cows. Talk to me. Hello cows. Did you see anything unusual? Oh. No monsters here. Alright, let's keep moving. Nothing. Cows are not very helpful. In the greenhouses? We're gonna check inside? I suppose we are. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the orb man sure gives this place a romantic ambience. Mmm, -hmm, romantic, you say? It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You're definitely a dead sister. <laughs> way, to be, way to be blunt about it. At least, at least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Estelle, you're the dense one. <laughs> Maybe they both are. Psst! Look! <gasps> oh my god. It's the chubby cat! <coughs> Meow! Ah, it's fast. It's getting away. Hey, get back here, you little furball. You can still sense its presence. 
Staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. Because it's about to get it's about to get caught. Where did it run out to? The stables? Down here? The fields? <gasps> there you are. Gotcha. I got him. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts. So stay alert and don't let your guard down. Right, fighting the choppy cats. Giant crop muncher. Oh boy. What, what are they afraid of? Nothing really. The giant one has lower HP than the small ones. Fair enough. Let's just kill the big one right first. It's playing dead. <laughs> That's gonna help you. Balls. That looked awesome. <laughs> we better take over this 50 strength of the nest break or else we just get killed. <sighs> yeah. Let's do this! So we're probably gonna die now. <laughs> yep. Damn. This is gonna hurt on us too. Ow. You're gonna die now. <laughs> Dead. Right, you better give some good experience. That's that then. Let's move out. Yeah, that's alright. That's what I'm talking about. No, oh, they're so cute. No. Hey. My goodness, this work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. See, it was nothing really. I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? Oh. Uh, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Do we really have to exterminate them? Wanna sound sad. Let's just let's just, let's just go with the top one. I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Still, how's that going to benefit anyone? Anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? Ah, damn you, Joshua! You're just making me feel like I'm pinging the wrong things all the time. We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters. Remember? Well, oh right, the other choice was also a merciful choice, but... So, Joshua, you're in the wrong. We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But... but they look so cute. They sound so cute. In any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know... After taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Miss Purcell! But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings, trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I, I had you two come all the way up here. But make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. Alright, you critters. You'd better count your blessings. Get the hell out of here. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram! Yeah!
Well, I'll consider this ma matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? Two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Right, it's night time. No. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Oh, they're sleeping in the same room, oh my god! Joshua? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Oh, now he's feeling bad. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. And even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Theo, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. Hates himself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Estelle? I watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. Well, now it's just got more awkward. <laughs> but believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? The real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, also you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Hmm. Still, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learn to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I am happy. I I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Ha! <laughs> I've got a whole lot more where that came from. <laughs> but how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night Estelle. And thanks. Welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Brazer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again. When things are convenient for you, I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation. To you, Miss and Mrs. Purcell. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. Alright, let's head back to town, just at least. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Cause uh, then we'll just take one of those jobs that our dad gave us one at a time, so we'll just... The episode won't, episodes won't reach over an hour. Um, yeah. So, 
thank you all thank you all so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next episode bye bye